Hi guys, it's Amanda. Welcome back. And we are doing July 2024 bullet journal setup past halfway point of the year, which is crazy. I am starting a new bullet journal for this month and I'm using the denim one. A lot of people were voting whether I should use denim or teddy, but I opted for the denim because I'm just a denim girl through and through, but we'll use the teddy at some point for sure. But I am really excited because whenever I start a new journal, it is kind of like a fresh start. We're at perfectly midway point of the year, so I can kind of check in with myself and think about whether I achieved the things that I set out to do at the beginning of the year. I will say the first half of the year, I think I started out really strong being really consistent with journaling and then midway of like Q2, I got so busy doing 2025 doodle planner stuff. So journaling consistently has been pretty tough for me. So that's why I'm excited that the start of the new journal has kind of lined up with this period as well because I feel really refreshed and excited to create. Speaking of which, the July bullet journal setup. I actually was this month going to do a bullet journal theme based off of my cute little nails because you guys know I love to match my nails with my journal and all of that. Can we just talk about my nails? I'm sorry, I just had to have a moment for the nails because they're so stinking cute. And I do think like a mermaid core beachy theme would be really fun. But then a wave of inspiration recently just hit over me because guys, it's summertime, it's fun, it's hot, and the pop girls are taking over. Pop music is back. Not that it ever left, but I feel like recently with the rise and popularity of Sabrina Carpenter, Chapel Roan, Olivia Rodrigo, Charlie XCX, Taylor Swift, all of the above, the girls in the music industry are just killing it. And I love when women slay. I think I definitely had my era of really vibing with chill, R&B, sad, vibey music, which I still like that music for sure. But lately there's just nothing that beats a catchy summer pop song. Something about it just makes me feel so powerful. Like when I play music walking down the street and you know, I have Sabrina Carpenter in my ear, you know, I'm like strutting down that street like I'm the main character. <laughs> All of that to say, this month's theme is definitely inspired by some of my current favorite music that I've been listening to. You guys know I love music in general, but recently pop music has just been so fun. I saw Sabrina Carpenter at GovBall. I missed seeing Chapel Roll, which I'm so sad about because I love her and she was definitely the main person who inspired this month's theme because her music style and her aesthetic is just so distinct. Her whole like Midwest disco princess vibe. And I was just like, I have to create something based off of this. It's so fun. Visually, it's just colorful and bright and summer and unabashedly girly, which I love. Even if you guys aren't familiar with her, I feel like you can still appreciate how cute and fun the theme is and the aesthetic of it is. I started out with the disco ball, of course, which is the biggest thing on the page and then added sort of the main other doodles like the cowboy hat, which of course had to be pink and the cowboy boots, which also had to be pink. I also drew the iconic Sabrina Carpenter boots in pink because I could, you know, the boots that she does, that she wears when she's like, I slim. And then I just filled the page with a bunch of other doodles that I felt would match the vibe or kind of had some nods to some of my favorite songs like the butterfly, the actual color palette and design of it was inspired by the butterfly costume that Chapel Roan wore to her Coachella performance. I had a little envelope with a heart on it because of Sabrina's older album. I also drew a little kiss lip print because on Sabrina's new album cover, Short and Sweet, there's like a kiss mark on her shoulder over here. Um, what else? And then I just filled in the empty spaces with hearts, stars, butterflies, bows, anything that would just match this vibe. And I feel like it could have really easily gotten very busy and jumbled, but I really wanted to anchor the whole entire cover page and drawings and theme this month with one color, which was pink. So I used a lot of the hot pink marker and the light pink marker. I honestly forgot how much I loved these paint markers because they're so easy to use. And especially if you don't exactly have a plan of what you're going to be drawing or coloring in, it's just easy to cover up the markers because it's basically paint. So if I drop, put something down with a dark color, I can actually cover it with the lighter color marker on top. So. These were really fun to work with and I've been journaling a lot with them. So 
highly recommend that. I know I'm yapping a lot. This was meant to just be the intro to the theme, but I think I was just really excited about doing this theme because it was inspired by something that I've genuinely just been loving in my real life. And something that I've learned recently is that I do need to consume art and media and live life in order to feel inspired when I'm creating art or when I'm journaling. So sometimes because of that, I do find it a little difficult to create something for social media because I need to first live my life in order to create the best art that I want to put out to you guys. But then of course, I also wanna create art and put out content for you guys consistently as well. So there is that balance there, but this just felt so natural to me because it was something that I've been loving, consuming and drawing and doodling lately. So you guys will see in the rest of the theme, I think it shows how much fun I had. Since I was having so much fun with this theme, I wanted to make a little illustrated quote page on the other side. And this was inspired by Chapel Roan's song called Hot To Go. And on her album art for this song, she is holding this like 80s style diner bag and it has hot to go in lettering like this. So I recreated the lettering style to give it that 80s feel. And I also drew an 80s style chunky phone of course, it had to be pink. I felt like it just went with this whole 80s disco vibe that we had going on. And, and then of course, around it to fill in the rest of the empty space, I just drew a bunch of hearts and stars and kiss prints. But overall, this cover page is just so, so cute. I love it. And it really just reminds me of her songs. Next up, of course, we are making my monthly calendar page. I wanted to make a full-sized calendar spread for this month because there are a lot of really fun things happening for me in July, so I needed all of the space that I could to fill in that calendar. Specifically, I will be visiting Greece, which was always a bucket list travel destination for me. I'm so, so excited. I know this is very cliche, and anyone who is actually from Greece is probably tired of hearing this, but... I love Mamma Mia, the movie, and I love Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants, and ever since watching those movies, I've always wanted to visit Greece. Of course, besides the fact that I also love Greek art and Greek sculpture and Greek history, so if you guys do have any recommendations, please leave them below. I'm visiting Athens and Mykonos, so it'll be much appreciated because it's my first time going, and ah, I cannot wait. It's gonna be so fun. And you best believe that I will be playing all of these hot girl summer songs that I've been talking about in Greece. It's been a while since I've done this style of calendar, but I actually thought it was perfect for this theme because we are using so many colors. So I took those Uni Posca paint pens and created individual colored boxes. Every single box is a different color. And I wanted to make it almost look like that disco ball that I created on the cover page with all of the different colors coming together. I really did focus a lot more so on the pinks, so just to, again, anchor it with the pink so that it doesn't look super crazy and too rainbowy, which also wouldn't be such a bad thing, but we definitely wanted to still have that nostalgic pink Barbie core disco princess vibe. The Uni Posca paint markers that I had were so fresh and new and juicy, which is the best. If you guys have ever colored something in with paint markers, then you know that there are is sort of like a lifespan to them where near the end, they're kind of dry and it's not fun to use. But when they're fresh with fresh paint ink in them, there's nothing more satisfying than that. I mean, speaking of satisfying, can we talk about the fact that July starts on a Monday? <sighs> Chef's kiss. You guys know stuff like that gets me. But maybe to some of you guys who are Sunday start girlies, that wouldn't be as satisfying. But to me, I'm a Monday start girly through and through. And the fact that I started a new bullet journal, started on July, starts on a Monday, it just all itches a part of my brain that I love. Initially, I had wrote out the days of the week using the same lettering style as the lettering style for July, but I felt like it didn't look cohesive. So I felt like just using a pink banner across the top would suit it more, so that's what I did. 
made it sort of still look like that disco ball that I was talking about. And then on the left side, I filled it in with my little doodles of the month. When it comes to creating cohesive themes like this, I always try to select a few icons and motifs and then repeat it throughout all of my spreads. And it also means that I get a lot of practice doodling those specific things. So I am really good now at drawing like cowboy boots and butterflies and cowboy hats and rainbows because of this theme. Another thing that I paid attention to while creating doodles for this theme was using specific colors for shadows and outlines. Um, specifically, whenever I had something that used the light pink, the hot pink worked really well as a shadow color and then the red worked really well as like an outline or an accent color. Um, and then even for the cherries, I used the blue as the shadow to make it kind of have that pop art graphic look. And we are done with this monthly calendar spread. The next spreads that I made are my habit and mood trackers and this month I made a full spread, full on classic habit tracker and mood tracker. I feel like it's been so long since I've done that because my previous spreads I was doing this thing where I integrated it into the monthly calendar or did like weekly little trackers but this month since I was having so much fun with these markers and with this setup I just felt like making full-on trackers so I started out by writing out the lettering style using that groovy funky lettering that I did for July on the cover page and for the habit trackers I used my red and pink paint markers to create those mini calendars underneath it, sort of alternating the colors. I only made six habit tracker calendars, I think. Um, and again, it was so fast to create these little mini calendars because July does start on a Monday. Ugh, we love it. I just wish every month could start on a Monday. <laughs> and then, of course, filling it in with the habits that I want to track for this month and adding my cowboy hat and cowboy boot doodles around it. I did change up the color palettes. The cowboy boots and cowboy hat that I drew for this specific spread was inspired by an exact outfit that Chapel Roan wore where she had this red bedazzled cowboy hat that had hearts all over it and I thought it was so cute. It does give Valentine's Day a little bit which maybe this theme would have been perfect for February but you know anything with pink and hearts I feel like can work all year round anyway. For the mood tracker, I thought it was only fitting that we do something really fun, so I thought of the idea of using the disco ball as the mood tracker. It was honestly like the perfect thing to turn into a mood tracker. It was the first thing I thought of when I thought of this theme was that like, wow, I need to create a disco ball mood tracker because every single square on the disco ball can be a different color and it'll be perfect when I see all of the colors kind of coming together into this beautiful, funky disco ball. So I drew out the disco ball and then numbered out the days of the week. It didn't work out perfectly number wise, so I blocked out certain sections with the hot pink just so that it is the right number of days. And then underneath it, I created the legend for the specific moods, added my little butterflies and bows, and it all came together so, so well. This tracker is making me so excited to fill it in because I cannot wait to see all of the colors come together. I mean, hopefully it is mostly the happy mood colors, but knowing me, we will have a couple of the sad mood colors thrown in there, but that's okay because then the disco ball will just look prettier. Of course, since this is a music inspired theme, I had to create a playlist spread for you guys as well as an actual Spotify playlist. And um, like you see, I'm writing out here, it says it's a hot girl summer. So I'm just dubbing this my hot girl summer pop playlist. Anything that's upbeat and fun and funky and will just get you in a good mood. The types of songs that you will walk down the street and feel like a main character too. So that's the energy of this playlist. and. I wanted to create a fun spread to write out some of the songs that will be on that playlist 
And to fit with the 80s vibe, I drew out a cassette tape at the bottom. And then within the little boxes, that's where I put these songs. We got include Sabrina, Chapel Road, Ariana Grande, all of that. But of course, if you do want to listen to the actual full Spotify playlist, I'll link it down below. I'm also open to receiving some fun summer song suggestions because the more the merrier. So if you guys have any songs that you think I would like or that would fit this playlist, please leave them down below. I'm really in this discovering new music era. So I would love to hear what you guys have been listening to on your hot girl walk. Finally, the last spread that I made was my weekly spread for the first week of July. And for this one, I just made a half spread because this format of weekly spread has really been working for me where I just have my weekly events at the top. I kind of recreated the same style as the monthly calendar to make it seem like it's a continuation of the events from that calendar. Um, and then underneath it, I have a rolling to-do list for, I feel like especially during the summer, the rolling to-do list just really works for my lifestyle. As you can see, I had some pink decorative grid paper that perfectly matched the color palette of this theme. So I used that with some shop ARL washi tape to decorate the bottom corner and on that little pink grid, I drew out cowboy boots, cowboy hat, and I wrote out another chaperone song called It's a Feminine Nominon. Fem feminine it's a feminine nominon <laughs> that song is so fun and unserious and i thought that the quote just perfectly encapsulated the energy of this entire theme and setup normally when i do these weekly style spreads i have a section where i can check in with myself and write my thoughts during the week but i've actually been creating separate diary style journal spreads um so i have more space to write so that's why this is just strictly so that's why this is strictly for just events and to-do lists. All right, guys, so here's the final flip through of my July 2024 bullet journal setup inspired by the pop girlies, Chapel Roan, Sabrina Carpenter, all of the above. I love, love, love this one. It just makes me so happy looking at this journal setup and flipping through it. Like it genuinely sparks joy in me. As usual, here are some of your recreations from last month, as well as the doodle planner spreads. Please keep sending me your doodle planner spreads. The way you guys color it in is so, so cute. This makes my day every time you guys show me how you color in your doodle planner. Anyway, I'm gonna go, I don't know what I'm gonna do, honestly. Probably edit this video. Thank you guys, keep doodling, and I will talk to you in the next one. Hi everyone.